Welcome to the Chris Harold Show, where we help coaches, consultants, and experts go from overworked, overwhelmed, and underperforming to enjoying a full sales pipeline and more revenue in order to fulfill your kingdom assignment and create an eternal legacy using our God's Masterpiece Rapid Success System. Welcome your host, Christopher Harold. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, my friend. Do not start a business without this. Hey, what's going on, my friend? Welcome to the Chris Harrell Show. I am your host, Christopher Harrell. And don't do it. Please listen up, my friend. Don't make the mistake that so many people make out there right now today. You know, statistics say this, and this is true, that 80% of the people who start a business fail. And it might even be higher depending on what industry that you're in. I think, I believe the restaurant industry is like almost the 90 to 96%, right? So in this episode, I'm going to share with you the crucial mistake that so many people make because, see, you and I have been misled that any Joe Blow on this planet should start a business. Maybe you've been going through social media and people out there telling you, hey, Start a business. Start a business. Get your business going. Uh, you get, your, get your tax write-offs. You know, write off your computer, write off your laptop, write off your car, all that stuff, right? And it sounds great and dandy, right? Because, yes, the government does give you tax incentives for having a business, right? But what these folks are not telling you and what uh, certain industries have misled people to believe that anybody can start a business, it's not true. I don't remember when I, when I used to be in the, uh, the home-based business industry, which some people may call the network marketing and multi-level marketing industry. And, that, and, and I have nothing negative to say about that industry, except there are a lot of uh, shortcomings of that industry because it, it's not upfront with a lot of people. Now, a lot of people like me probably got their very first start in business, for a very first taste of business in that particular industry. So it is like a stepping stone type of business. It's, it's like something to get you started, right? Then eventually you move on to other things like a lot of, you know, like coaching, consulting, uh, things, 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 things like that. But I can remember getting started in that industry many, many, many moons ago. I think I, I, think I, I can remember going to my very first Amway meeting in the mid-90s. I think I was like, uh, I don't think how old I was, but I, I, I was, you know, it was the mid nineties. I remember going to that meeting and I was like, oh, wow. Okay. This is, this is interesting. Right. But one thing that, that I've discovered over time and one thing that I, that, that I've noticed even much more now is something that was never taught. Hey, it's Chris. And really quick, I know you're enjoying the video, but Hey, if you are, thoroughly enjoying this video, would you please do me a quick favor really quick. First and foremost, would you hit the like button? You know, give me a thumbs up if you definitely are enjoying this video. Also, secondly, would you be, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And then when you subscribe, make sure you click the bell. It should be a bell as well. So that way you're notified each time when I upload something new. And if you're thoroughly are enjoying this, I want to know, Leave me a comment. Tell me, tell me what you're finding most valuable about this as well. And so let me know about it by leaving a comment below as well, my friend. And we'll encourage me to continue to upload more content like this as well, my friend. So again, thank you for being here. I appreciate you uh, checking out my YouTube channel. Now, let's get back to your video. It's not taught in that industry. And it's not taught in a lot of places. Is that you should never start a business without this one thing to share with you today. Because if, if so, it's gonna uh, give you a lot of problems. Let me give you an example. Would you get on an airplane with someone who, who woke up one day and said, hey, you know what? I believe I wanna fly planes. Would you hop on that airplane? No, you wouldn't, right? Why not? Someone just said, hey, you wanna start flying airplanes? It's pretty cool. You get to, you know, you, 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 get, you, you get to be seen as an awesome person. You know, you get to go and see the whole world, all this good stuff, right? You wouldn't do that, right? Well, it's, it's, it's a reason why that when someone goes to attend flight school, is that they have to get anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 hours 
of either in a, in a simulator or actually flying time before you can even get your license. Listen to what I just said. You have to spend anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 hours in, in a simulator before they can even get their license or flying with a copilot before they even get their license to fly. So they can't, it, it can't even go out and be hired by an airline company until they have spent this much time doing something very important. In Ecclesiastic, it talks about when, when the axe is dull, you work harder. But if you sharpen the axe, you work more swiftly. Well, what is he talking about? Well, here's the deal. The reason why you and I get on a plane with someone who just woke up yesterday and said, hey, I want to fly planes. And the reason why they are required in the airline industry to have so many hours. Why? Because they have to get something called a skill and be highly skillful to operate that aircraft. Well, why is it that everybody out there think they can go and start a business and believe it's going to prosper just because you went to some hotel meeting or you, or you got on some three-way call and you've been hyped up and told, get to, get to, get to, get to, right? Or someone's told you, hey, start an Amazon business today. You'll be rich tomorrow. See, what these folks have neglected to tell you is that you don't start a business without a skill. Why is it that you cannot go and wake up today and say, you know what, I want to be a brain surgeon tomorrow. No, you got to go to school to get a skill. And if you're going to uh, operate a successful business, you have to have a skill. You have to know how to run a business. You have to be good where it is that, that, that you are good in. And also, you have to know how to have marketing and sales. Either you're good at it or you hire someone like me. Who, who is an expert at it to help you, right? But you, you, got, you, but you have to have a skill to run a business. Understanding P&Ls and all this good stuff, right? The bottom line is this. If you're going to have a profitable business, you need a skill. People pay you for your skills. Not just because you have a business. And unfortunately, the network marketing industry has made it so easy for anyone to get in and start a business. And it's a reason why in that industry, 96%, 96% of people fail in that industry because they lack skills. They just thought, I can just sign up. I can go out and tell everybody I know. I make a list of all my family and friends. And, and, and all of a sudden, I will be rich. And that is a lie. No, there are certain skills that you even need in that industry to succeed. But there are skills that everyone needs and, and has to have to succeed in business. So you know me, I, I keep it 100 and I tell you the truth. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this too, and it's something that we, we, we possibly will be launching sometime in 2022, is an online marketing academy. Why? Because the, the skill of marketing, the skill of online marketing is a skill set that will pay you for the rest of your life. And the powerful thing about this skill is that you can take it wherever you want. Once you learn what I know, if you want, you can go out and get a job and they'll pay you six figures at a job. You can take it and, and, and run your own business and create your own six-figure business, multiple six-figure business, seven-figure business, eight-figure business from the skill. You can go out and uh, sell your own products and services much more by learning this skill. You can go out and have other business owners uh, as, as service-based providers willing to pay you thousands and thousands of dollars a month to do their marketing for them. Because why? They're skillful in what they're skillful at, but they're not skillful in this area. See, this is a skill that will pay you for life. That's why one of the reasons why, I mean, it's, it's powerful and I love it. Because I can take it anywhere. I can apply it to anywhere. Any area, any business, any niche, any industry. See, once you have a skill set, and of course, you know, in business, yeah, you need marketing skills, sales skills, personal development skills. Think about that. Personal development, leadership skills, right? You need those overall great business skills, right, to succeed. Pe people skills, right? All that stuff plays a role in you having a successful business or not. 
if you're gonna become a CEO, you're gonna have to have to have you know good people skills, uh, delegation skills, team building skills, right? So so these are things that you have to have, and unfortunately, people don't tell you this. They tell you it's gonna be easy. They tell you just go ahead and get in, right? And if you and unfortunately, most people fail, and then most people get hurt. And most people get jaded and, 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 and they never want to get into business again because they're not being told the truth. So how much time do you need to put in? Whatever time is necessary. If you want to be great at something, you got to make a sacrifice. I'm sorry, you're not going to build a successful business by coming home watching television every night. You're not going to build a successful business by neglecting your skill set. You should always invest in your skills, invest in coaching, invest in training, invest in mentoring, invest in more education. You should always be doing that on an everyday, regular basis. Because that's what's going to begin to separate you from the masses. Just like you will not, just like you will not get on an aircraft with someone only been doing something for two or three days. People are not going to do business with you for someone who doesn't have the same skills as well. So please, I hope, I hope this is making sense. I hope this resonates with you. I hope you're like, man, I wish I would have known this a long time ago, right? But it's okay, now you know. And now is the time to increase your skills because here's the deal. You don't lack money. You don't lack revenue. You lack skills. You lack marketing skills to attract the right people. And you lack sales skills to convert the right people into clients. That's it. You lack skills. So if you lack those skills, or you're willing to invest financially, or you're willing to invest with your time, or you're willing to, uh, to make sacrifices that are necessary to get the results you desire. That's what you gotta ask yourself. Am I willing to put the money? Am I willing to put the time to get the results that I need? If you're not willing to do both, you're not gonna succeed. It's not gonna happen by osmosis. It's not gonna happen by hoping, wishing, and praying. Because there is no big red easy button. But if you do the things I'm sharing, you will reap the harvest and you will succeed. And one thing too, one of my mentors told me this a long time ago. They said, if, if, if you do what's necessary in this business long enough, you're going to win by a default. Why? Because 95% of everybody has already quit. The average person is going to give up and quit when it doesn't happen like that for them. But I'm assuming you're not the average person because why? You're still here with me watching this and listening to this. So that tells me something about you. And trust me, it's a reason why two, two, two to three percent of the population earns six figure plus. It's because that, that, two, that two to three percent is willing to do something, willing to make the sacrifices, willing to make the commitment, willing to make the investment of time and money to get the results that they desire. Where everybody else won't. So, I hope that makes sense. I hope you found this value. Let me know what you find valuable about this. Leave, leave a comment below. Tell me the one thing that gave you an aha. Tell me the one thing that stuck out to you in this episode. I want to know. L leave me a comment to let me know right now what, what that one thing is. All right? And if you listen to this on podcast app, I want to know what you find valuable as well. So, just, uh, connect with me on social media at Christopher underscore Harold on Instagram or our Facebook page at Chris Harold Team. Let me know what you find valuable about this as well. And definitely share this podcast, leave a review, and, uh, and, uh, and definitely uh, subscribe as well. If you own uh, 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 YouTube channels, Facebook, things of that nature, subscribe to this, these channels, these pages as well, and leave a review. And leave, leave your comments as well. Share it with others as well, my friend. If you get any value out of this, let me know. So, my, my friend, until our next episode, I'm going to share with you inside the Chris Harrell Show. Remember this, put God first in all that you do, and you too shall succeed. Peace and God bless. Well, would you like for me to give you a plan to double your leads, clients, and revenue every month for free? I'm happy to help you design a custom marketing plan for your business, identify your perfect target market of prospective clients, and show you how to have them coming to you asking to enroll in your program. This way, you'll be able to get more leads without prospecting the wrong people, talking to tire kickers, or unrealistic people who want to waste your time. 
I offer this service because I am a consultant specializing exclusively in helping coaches, consultants, and experts go from overworked, overwhelmed, and underperforming to enjoying a full sales pipeline and more revenue. And there's a good possibility your niche has a large pocket of underserved clients who would be very responsive to the marketing plan I'll be giving you for free. And if you find the plan that I create for you valuable, you might want to become a client. If this is the case, my fee starts at 3K, which is less than your earnings from acquiring one client. However, with that said, please understand that I am not offering you a sales pitch in disguise. I promise not to pressure you or pester you in any way at all. In fact, if you feel I've wasted even one second of your time, let me know and I'll immediately send you $500 to compensate you for your time. But before we can go further, you need to know I can't help everyone. I can only be of benefit to coaches, consultants, and experts whose average value per client is $3,000 or more, who are actively promoting and getting 500 unique visitors to their website each month, and have an email list of 250 plus potential clients, who are willing to advertise and able to execute, and who are enthusiastic and coachable. Here's what I want you to do next. Schedule a quick 15 minute good fit call with my assistant by simply clicking the link below. Once you do, you will see a form with a few questions about your business and what you're looking to accomplish. Once you complete your quick 15 minute good fit call with my assistant, I'll do some market research for you and set up a time to go over it together with you during our planning session. So schedule your call below now. I look forward to speaking with you soon.